Okay, now we're on the third page. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna figure out the gas mileage of each vehicle. We know how much it costs for each vehicle to drive 25 miles. We know how much gas each vehicle needs to drive 25 miles. Now we wanna know how many miles we get per gallon. Okay, so the first car, um, I'm gonna use the example, I'm gonna use my own car, okay? The first car I'm gonna use is the RAV4. And um, I already figured it out on the last page. So if you're renting a car, I'll explain how to do that, but this is my personal car. I already know my gas mileage is 24, okay? So I can just put that in since it's my personal car. If you're using a rental vehicle, because you had to compare it to two vehicles, I would then go back up here to this information that I filled out, okay? So I'm gonna type in the Tacoma, because remember you're comparing three things. My road trip is 3,675 miles long, and the Tacoma needs that many gallons, 345.49. So I'm just going to, or 245. So I'm just going to call it 245.5. So 245.5. And then I'm just going to divide because it is just miles per gallon. So the number of miles divided by the number of gallons. So I'm going to do 36.75 divided by 245.5. <clears throat> the Tacoma, oh my gosh, gets four. 15 miles to the gallon. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> okay. Maybe don't take a truck. My sister's got a Tundra and she's driving here in a couple weeks. And I think it's even worse than that. Okay. And then fill out your third one. Okay. Now the next part um, is going to be a little bit tricky if you're renting a car because you haven't figured out how long your trip is. And notice there's a spot right here that says trip length. Okay. So for now, we're going to leave that part blank. All right. So I don't need these bottom two because remember we only decided to do three, okay? So I'm gonna put in my RAV4, my Tacoma. Oh, you know what I'm not putting in my RAV4? This is, um, sorry, and I should have put this on here. This is for, let me add this. This is for rentals only. So all this is for rentals. If you're taking your personal vehicle, you're gonna fill it out down here. So if you only looked at three rentals, you only have to fill out where it says taco. <laughs> um, if you um, brought your personal vehicle, you would fill out two of those and then your personal vehicle, okay? All right, remember, first time I've done this project, there's a lot to figure out. Okay, so I'm taking the Tacoma. I don't know how long my trip is yet. You'll figure that out later. But the cost of the rental, and I can't figure out this prep part here, okay? Because I don't, I don't know how many days. So I'm gonna take the cost of the rental. So what was the Tacoma? On the first page, the Tacoma was 50 bucks a day, okay? So like, let's say um, it's a 20 day road trip. I would just do 50 times 20. So it's a grand to, to rent the truck, okay? But I don't know that right now because I don't know how long my trip's gonna be. You'll figure that out soon. Okay, but I am gonna take the gas cost. So the Tacoma I figured out is gonna cost me $479.22. So I'm going to add that to the table, 479.22. And you know what? That's all you can do right now if you're taking a rental car, unless you already know how many days. So we're going to have to come back to this page, which is totally fine. So just fill that part out. Then if I was taking another car, I would fill out this part for the other car. Okay. If you're using your own car, you can totally fill it out because it's only based on mileage because you don't have to rent your own car. So this is where I fill in my RAV4. Okay, the total mileage driven is 3,675 miles. And I found out on the first page that it costs 31 cents per mile to drive my own car. Okay, that's how much it loses in value. So then I'm gonna multiply these two. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna multiply these two numbers together. Okay, so 36.75 times 0.31, and I get, wow, okay, I get $11,139.25. Oh, that means that my $6,000 car is only going to be worth like $4,800 when I get back because uh, how far I drove it. That's a big road trip, by the way. That's like a fourth of what people drive in a year. Okay, then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna say, okay, gas for my RAV4 costs me, and I don't have it on here, but let's say I calculated it. Let's say gas for my RAV4 was like, uh, and it's pretty good, my gas is pretty good. It's gonna be like 
Okay, so you'll have figured that out. I just didn't do it for this video. Then my total vehicle cost is I'm gonna take uh, this number, the cost that my car is gonna depreciate and the cost of gas, I'm gonna add them together. Okay, so plus 250. Oh, it's a 350. Okay, so my answer is gonna be, it's gonna cost me $1,389.25 to drive my car. That's all my vehicle costs. Okay, let's say, let's just do a hypothetical, okay? Let's say my road trip was gonna be, I think my actual road trip is 17 days long. So let's say I put in 17. The Tacoma is $50 a day. So I'm gonna do 17 times 50. And to rent the truck for that many days is gonna be $850. Okay, and I have to pay for gas. So then I'm going to um, add those two together. So I'm gonna add 850 plus $479.22. Okay, and I get, whoa, this is crazy. $1,329.22. It's like a difference of $60. Okay, so here's where I have to make a decision, right? That's what step 10 is asking you. And you're gonna have one more vehicle to compare with. So you're not just looking at two. You're gonna write a few sentences explaining which vehicle you picked and why. Okay, taking my own car is only gonna cost $60 more. I prefer to keep the value of my car high. So I would prefer to take a truck, put a cap on the back and put whatever I want in it and maybe sleep in it and just totally go off-roading in some fun areas. So I might at this point say, I choose the Tacoma because of all the reasons I just said, okay? It's only, and I would say it says use math to describe, to help it explain how you made the decision. That's only 60 bucks more and I have so much more freedom. You might on the flip side say, hey, my car um, is a little bit more. However, um, I like my car. I know how it works. I'm not gonna... I know where everything goes. I've got a rocket box I'm gonna stick on the top. Like I'm gonna bring my dog and I don't care if the back gets hairy, like whatever, it's your decision. I just want you to be able to make a comparison. Now, I've never actually sat down and done this because I've never rented a vehicle for my own road trips. However, after doing this math and the numbers are pretty accurate because I looked it all up for like current data, except for the gas price. Um, I actually might be willing to take my own, to borrow to take the truck. So fun. Okay. All right. So that's the end of part two. Um, part three is going to be figuring out what you're going to do in all the cities and how much that stuff's going to cost. And then if you haven't figured out your days, if you don't know how many days you're going to go, like you don't know this number right here, you don't have to decide on a car yet. We'll totally come back to that. We'll map out the days and we'll come back. Okay, cool. Good job. I hope you're having fun. I'll see you later.